heat rate arriving. in about 10 minutes so I'll try to capture uh, capture its departure on video shortly so I believe these trains accelerate very slowly because there are so many passenger carriages that make up the train and only two power cars so tractions only at the front and the rear of the train so just like any locomotive they accelerate quite slowly but they reach the top speed of oh, the one I was seeing reach um, 189 miles per hour one thing you notice about the DGV train's construction is, is that the, the wheels are at the end of the carriages. So one set of wheels there and the other set of wheels will be at the other end of that carriage or at the end of, of that, that carriage over there. Just like this one here. So you see one set of wheels there. You see the passenger carriage and then another set of wheels there. So this design lowers the center of gravity um, because as you can see the passenger carriage is actually resting s slightly lower than it normally would if the wheels were directly under the uh, uh, carriage. So uh, this is what allows the trains to travel at very high speed and, and, and also um, it provides uh, passengers with great uh, comfort because of the Again, because of the, the low center of gravity and, and also because the wheels are not directly under the passenger uh, carriages themselves. <laughs> the, 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 the drawback to this design is, is that it's very difficult to service the trains because they can't just decouple the carriages without, without um, using sp specialized equipment to raise the uh, carriages off to disconnect the um, uh, this, this, this wheels is uh, from the carriage. So this DGV here just raised its pentograph as well. This spark a couple of seconds ago, so I believe it's also being prepared for departure. Arras, la gare DGV Haute Picardie, l'aéroport Charles de Gaulle, Marne la Vallée Chessy. So it's scheduled to depart at 6 minutes past 11. The time now is 5 to 11. So I'll try to, I'll try to capture a video of the train departing the station in 10 minutes. Okay, I've just done some googling and got my terminology right. So those set of wheels there are called boogies. So once again, if you look at how DGV train is constructed, you can see that a single passenger carriage shares 
one boogie on the end and another boogie at the other end. So it shares the same boogie with that carriage. So you can see two passenger carriages sharing this one boogie in the middle. And this is called an articulated uh, design. So as I explained in the earlier part of the video, it allows the train to traverse at very high speeds. Uh, but uh, the disadvantage is, is that the, the carriages can't be decoupled without using specialized equipment to lift uh, the, the, the passenger carriage up to dismantle them from the, uh, the boogies. So, so it needs to be uh, hoisted up and it can't be disconnected without uh, specialized equipment. So I'm just going to make my way back to the other TGV train as, uh, that you can see in the background. It should be departing in the next few minutes, in about three minutes, so I'm going to try to capture its departure. So here we can see the train guard making the last call. He just blew his whistle, so I believe the train will be departing very, very shortly. So we should be going to the train now to shut the doors and give the signal to the driver. Anyway, this train is scheduled to depart in about two minutes anyway, so I'm sure it will go on its plan. These trains are very, very punctual. Even the Eurostar is very punctual, so I believe you, it, it will depart on the dot at 6 minutes past 11 this morning. I'm not sure what that buzzing sound represents. Oh, he's not the guard, he's just a dispatch, platform dispatch guy. So th the door is shut now. I believe that alarm signals uh, an impending departure of the train. So this platform dispatch guys. You can hear the power car um, powering up now as the train begins to depart. As the brakes just being released and the train has just started to move. goes the TGV the fastest railway train in the world in, in case you're wondering the top speed set by one of these trains is about uh, 515 kilometers per hour of course that was um, unladen but uh, they generally travel at over 300 kilometers per hour on uh, service and I'd just like quickly to quickly point out that this is the same class of trains that is currently used by the Eurostar 